My son always got bullied. I mean, I didn't hang out with him because he he wasn't that cool. Actually, he was, he was like the opposite of cool. He was the easiest kid to bully. <laughs> son getting mugged in our own house, I realized he's the perfect test subject for my master plan, Dilation Man. You see, Dilation Man would be a hero with the abilities to expand or shrink something with a given scale factor. If scale factor was bigger than one, it would get bigger. Smaller, smaller. But the thing is, if the scale factor is negative, it would change position. <laughs> Man, I've been working on this Lego set for like seven hours and I only have one more part to add and I'll finally be done. Not so fast! <laughs> Why? I was so close! <laughs> powers to pick up chicks. However, he accidentally shrunk his own heart after a tough breakout and died. Here lies Dilation Man who tried to use his powers to pick up chicks and eventually killed himself. He will be missed. Even though my son died, I still felt that I needed to follow my dream of creating a superhero. So I joined the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to further my quest of fighting crime. Together, we are the new Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay, so for number one, we can tell that this rhombus is bigger than this rhombus, which means that the scale factor is going to have to be greater than one for the dilation. So I already drew in the diagonals, so let's just count the diagonals. Uh, this one would, the vertical one would be two, and the horizontal one would be four. And for this one, 
it looks like this would be six for the vertical one and that's 12 for this one so six over two and 12 over four means three because both of these equal three so the scale factor from this one to this one would be three or you could say one to three okay so the second problem we'll be doing will be scaling triangles and as you can tell the first one is a lot bigger than the second one this means that the scale factor the dilation between the two uh, will be less than one but also greater than zero okay so let's just count the measure of each one this is four units going diagonal I'm just going to do that for the sake of time uh, this one is one going diagonally this one is going two this one is going eight this one is going twelve this one is three so one over four eight over two would, I mean two over eight and three over twelve all make one over four so one over four or 0 0.25 or 1 colon 4 all work for the dial.